Hello? How are ya? <laughs> Can you guess who it is? Do you not hear the noise in the background? Here, I'll hold the phone out and let you hear it. Now, can you guess? What? <laughs> well, you're near enough. <laughs> I'm ringing from Gilhooley's. <laughs> I'm having a few Christmas jars with the lads. <laughs> Festy's a bit depressed on account of getting the sore hand over the Christmas. <laughs> what? How did he get it? Ah, it's a long story. <laughs> I happened up in Nobles Place during the Christmas dinner. Oh, listen, while well, I think of it, and before I forget it, the cannon is furious over your man that was posing as the new curate while he was in bed with the flu. The guards are saying that they think now that the Honda 750 electric start he was riding was stolen because she was brand new and the number plates on her was a bit hairy looking, you know. Anyway, he's blown with all the bingo money and the cannon says the social committee is to blame because they should have smelt a rat when they heard your man's cockney accent. Oh, but listen, I was telling you about fast day. Anyway, I was up filling his face during the Christmas dinner in Nobles, and they were all pulling his leg about him sitting there and he looking like Henry VIII with the turkey leg in one hand and the mug of beer in the other. And of course, Festy's only lapping up the attention they're giving him. So he starts acting the role of Henry VIII and he calling for more mate and belching at the same time. <laughs> And he was getting fierce jealousy, young Packy, you know, because young Packy wouldn't sit down. And he was taking some of the attention from Fasty. And Fasty doesn't like that at the best of times, you know. <laughs> young Packy's crawling round the floor, playing with his new car. And Fasty keeps telling him to sit down and eat his dinner. <laughs> anyway, Fasty's showing off good on. He fires the bone of the turkey leg over his shoulder. And isn't young Marnie just coming in the door with the remainder of the turkey to give Festy some more? <laughs> and doesn't the bone get her right in the eye? <laughs> and she drops the dish with the turkey carcass on it right on the floor. <laughs> oh, listen, well, I think about it. The guards think now that them wasn't real nuns that held up the bank. Aye, they think that the guns they had must have been hidden in the collection boxes they were carrying. Because they found bits of the boxes all over the floor after the raid. The thing now that the older nun must have had the shotgun hidden under her hab all the time. The guards are thinking now that like real nuns wouldn't have been carrying guns like that and they think that the language of the old nun was suspicious when the alarm went off and the door of the getaway car slammed in her hand. Like, <laughs> nuns is fairly with it now, like, but they wouldn't be using language the like of that. <laughs> anyway, the guards are saying that their vices was too deep for nuns. But anyway, I was telling you, Marnie drops the turkey on the floor and the dog, Zhivago, is on it as quick as a cock in a raspberry. That fella's like a streak of light, you know. And doesn't he take the legs from under Marnie and she only getting over the shock of dropping the turkey? <laughs> well, anyway, young Packy's down on the floor already playing with his car. And he makes a go for Zhivago, the dog, to try and get the turkey from him. And he has him by the back legs, and the dog is squealing and hanging on for dear life to the turkey with his teeth, and Marnie's lying across the dog's back, and she roared through it all. <laughs> oh, listen, well, I think of it. Nuala was home for Christmas from London. Aye, you'd want to see the style of her. She has a nice new fur coat. <laughs> I'd say it cost thousands, and a pair of white shoes on her. <laughs> there must be great money in being a typist over there. I was asking her and she says she works overtime most nights. She certainly must be getting lots of overtime. <laughs> You'd want to see the car she's driving. A lovely metallic blue Jaguar with leopard skin upholstery. <laughs> her fiancé, Mr. Abruzzi, is a very nice fellow altogether. He's sort of strange though. <laughs> he never smiles like him. Festy nearly died when he kissed him on both cheeks, you know. Well, anyway, I was telling you about Festy and the Christmas dinner. Well, they're all in the ground struggling. Marnie, Zhivago and young Packy in that order from the top down. And doesn't Zhivago leave go of the turkey and bite young Packy on the arm? Now, he didn't get him a good one because he couldn't get him properly with Marnie lying on top of him. <laughs> but, of course, there's no stopping young Packy when he loses the temper. Bite me with you, man, you old half-brain, says he. And he sinks his teeth into the dog's backside. <laughs> Well, the dog goes ass and viewer all together. And Festy's reaching down trying to separate the whole lot of them. And doesn't Zhivago finally get his teeth into something satisfactory at last? He bit Festy so deep in the hand that I don't think he could have got his teeth out if he'd wanted to. <laughs> Nobla had to prise his jaws apart with two tablespoons before they could get Festy's hand out. Anyway, they had to rush Festy up to the college hospital for anti-tetanus injections, you know. And Festy spent the whole Christmas with the hand bandaged. <laughs> well, listen, 
I better let you go. <laughs> I, I think we're safely past my round now in the bar beyond here. <laughs> and I have a few more calls to make anyway. So listen, I'll let you go. Okay? Right. <laughs> Cheerio, so.